fellow cookbook friends and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at flavors of the Southeast Asian grill. I'm excited because I personally love Southeast Asian food quite a bit. So I'm looking for new ways of grilling or just different recipes that I can have that are more than just burgers and whatever. Um, so I'm excited. And skewers. I'm trying to get some skewers too. So let's look at these together. Here's just a brief look at some of the dishes that you'll find. There's a lot of photos in here. There's a ton of seafood, veg, uh, vegetable dishes, there's meat, all kinds of stuff. Um, just so you are aware here. And I just love, it's everything looks so vibrant. There's a lot of beautiful sauces, some great uh, fundamentals that you might want to learn, like how to spatchcock a bird. That's one of those things that not everybody knows how to do or how to uh, grill like octopus or other seafood dishes. Here's what the con table of contents looks like. We start with fish and shellfish, then we go to poultry, pork, beef and lamb, salads, snacks, and sweets, so side dishes. Alrighty, and I think they try to utilize the grill almost the entire time. I'm wondering if there are grilled desserts, like more than just fruit. All right, so here's just a, f just a preview of how the introduction looks how to find certain equipment, what you could use it for, and different parts as well, like pellet grills, smokers, uh, hibachi, barrel cookers, all kinds of stuff, and utensils here. Like I said, I'm all about skewers right now. Here we get to learn about uh, using charcoal, different kinds, different shapes, what it does, wood, um, all kinds of stuff here. All right direct heat, indirect heat. Let's look at some seafood dishes that you can grill. We have a cedar plank salmon salad bite. So here in the very top, you get a description of the dish, what it you can, I guess what you can pair with, where it comes from, and how to grill as well, like what the special grilling parts are, what makes this dish unique. And here on the side is our list of ingredients, serving, etc. And all of that is in U.S. measurements. Here we have our directions, which is pretty much like any other cookbook. All of it's divided into different paragraphs for different segments of the actual directions. Here we have an herb-filled grilled fish with spicy tamarind dipping sauce. Yum. So good. There's a lot of text here that it actually isn't too hard to make a lot of these dishes. It doesn't take a ton of ingredients or, I'm well, it takes a lot of ingredients, but it doesn't take as much time as you might think if it is a really lengthy dish. We have a grilled fish with herbs and banana leaf packets. This one's probably a little tough just because of getting like the banana leaf. I've never successfully been able to wrap a banana leaf before. Here we have a grilled baby octopus with spicy peanut sauce. Yum different here's a way to grill grilled stingray with chili paste on banana leaves wow i don't think i've ever had stingray before here's something that's maybe a little more accessible to most of us we have grilled oysters with crispy shallots green green onion oil and peanuts that looks really vibrant perfect for summertime here's a close-up of that that looks phenomenal right i've never grilled uh, shellfish before. Grilled shrimp skewers with spicy sweet and sour sauce. Delicious. And here is some grilled lobster tails. That would be a show-stopping like 4th of July special. Let's go to some poultry dishes. Here is a roasted Cornish game hen with coconut rice and chili uh, relish. That looks really yummy. A full dish all by itself. That's pretty awesome. This is how you would spatchcock a bird. So this is something that like I've never done before. So I do need to read through this to learn. We have a, a grilled sa chicken and spicy carrot salad. I kept wanting to say spicy uh, with sticky rice and sweet chili sauce. This looks awesome. So good. I like that we get kind of a full meal here. Some step-by-step -step photos here, some table settings. I love that. It's beautiful. All right, we have here a hay-smoked chicken. 
something very different. I've never had this before, but I'd love to try it. It looks really interesting. Smoking in Southeast Asia in particular, like what does that look like? How to get the flavors kind of accurate or the way that they would. We have ghee smoked chicken and rice with a spicy mint sauce. So good. Yum. Uh, the Dungar method. So different methods of cooking which is cool and trickled throughout and the applications to certain recipes that will use this particular method I like that that's the way I learn is like sometimes I'll read through a recipe and I'm like oh, okay how do you do the thing so it's really nice to have it back to back like that here's a close-up of the dish looks so beautiful all right here a grilled chard braised chicken thigh dish just something really standard with rice you can do a really awesome side like the carrot, spicy carrots. Grilled soy sauce chicken wings. I love chicken wings. They're so good. We have a way to braise. Let's get for, let's go forward a little bit. We have pork dishes. I'm trying to find some good photos for y'all. So, trang style roasted suckling pig. So another uh, method to cooking and how to actually do that step by step. Sorry if that's a little too visual for some people. Um, here we have satay of baby back ribs. Yum, so good. Looks really yummy. Here is a barbecued pork dish that we can make. No sides here, I'm noticing. Darn, but this looks good. This is a spicy grilled pork salad. Yum, that looks really tasty. There is also pork belly burnt ends grilled pork sticky rice burgers a different way of doing burgers in fact I think I would probably love that I wonder if they grill the rice too that would be amazing all right you can actually learn how to make your own uh, sausage as well they kind of guide you through that with all of the different meats here's an example of that different flavors let's move on to beef and lamb I have to be honest like I I'm not a chicken fan I'm definitely a beef and lamb fan but I can't I try not to eat a ton of it um, I wish I wish I could but I don't um so here we have a caveman style reverse seared ribeye steaks with a spicy grape salad I'm loving that I see a lot more grapes in a lot of dishes now especially grilling grapes i've never done it before but when i think about it i'm like why haven't i because it sounds really good grapes are already really sweet so i'm sure if you caramelize them oh man so good we have a grilled skirt steak with spicy roasted tomato sauce that looks really beautiful green curry beef skewers with fried basil oil yay i think that's the one i would try the first with my skewers that i need to go get uh, grilled stuffed lemongrass I didn't even think you could do that because lemongrass is so tough okay here we have some extra sides a grilled eggplant salad that sounds amazing and super filling I love the Chinese eggplants here in the grill lines there's grilled corn grilled mushrooms beautiful variant on grilled corn grilled eggs and banana leaf boats that's creative that is a lot of fun fun kombucha squash smoked eggs with spicy garlic sh uh, shallot radish never seen anything like this before wow beautiful uh here's some desserts here's a grilled banana with coconut palm sugar syrup honestly that looks phenomenal i would have that any day of the week oh one more dessert smoked coconut cake so you're still using those grilling techniques smoking techniques for those dishes as fundamentals this looks awesome so this is the flavors of the southeast asian grill i'm excited to check this out there's a lot of great recipes in here especially some of the seafood dishes and the dips oh man and the salads my mouth is watering so check this out if you're looking for some other uh southeast asian recipes or cookbooks we have a playlist for that and we also have a couple of grilling cookbooks as well as we start to ramp up for barbecue season over here in the States. So check these out. 
And if you are interested in cookbooks in general, make sure to join us on our socials. Those are listed down below, but we're at Cookbook Divas on Instagram, Facebook, Amazon Live, etc. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Make sure to comment, subscribe. Let us know what cookbook you want us to look through next time.